Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to take a look at some more information towards the Elegant Palkia in Pokemon Go because they're going to get the Origin Forms. Like this was not announced before and like people were like expecting, oh no, they're not coming into the game, but they're actually coming into the game and the um, effects that those have are going to be insane and really, really interesting for the gameplay. Gonna stay tuned for this. Today, no face game, I just feel a little bit too sick still. But um, as you're going to see here right now, they have like some kind of video linked, which does not work. And if you go onto YouTube, you don't see anything either. So that doesn't really work out. But otherwise, we're going to see a lot of different kind of information and here's like more of the most important ones for you. I already by the way made a video about the origin form and the um yeah both for both Pokemon basically before I'm mostly gonna link it at the end card so definitely check that video out as well. So I'm not gonna talk about like the PvP aspect or whatever but they're definitely worth getting for sure like they're going to be better than the normal forms as a short term here but basically you're going to be able to go to the Sinnoh event in Los Angeles if you're going to be able to go there of course I'm not going to be there as a European and you're going to be able to get the origin form from the Alga and the origin form from Palkia through raids. Um, but you're not going to be able to get the shiny variant and you're not going to be able to get the signature moves until the global go fest. So you're going to be able to get the shiny form and the signature moves of the Palkia and Giratina during the global go fest in yeah, basically the end of the February for the last weekend. So this event going to be massive. I can't wait for this and I actually have a lot of time during that time as well. So I'm going to definitely feature a ton of stuff for this for this entire thing here. But now we're going to be able to take a look at the most important thing for this. We're going to see here the adventure effect and this is going to be crazy for both of them. You're going to see here a little bit of a screen already. It's going to be a gift so it's going to restart again. But basically what you can do here is you can basically add some candies plus stardust and this is going to allow you to freeze the effect of incense, daily adventure incense, lucky eggs and star pieces. For each candy and stardust basically you can yeah, freeze it up to like 24 hours in total, but six minutes for like each power up basically. So it's going to be very costly, I guess, like 5k Stardust and 5 candies are going to be a little bit costly in total, but you're going to be able to freeze basically your daily adventure instance, which is going to allow you to encounter Pokemon like the Galarian Zapdos, the Galarian Articuno, the Galarian Moltres, and you're going to be able to just go ahead and have this effect on for up to 24 hours plus also the Lucky Eggs you can still have on the same time, the Star Peaks that you can still have on the same time. This is going to be a, a very interesting option, especially if you really want to get those birds. So this is going to be really cool for the gameplay. Of course, it's going to be expensive, but I feel like it's a great bonus. So here we're going to see it as well. They're just freezed on the side. You can see it there as well that those don't take down, which is really interesting. So you're going to be able to even here they encounter the Galarian Moltres there. So it's going to be a very, very cool one. Um, this will be unable to learn the raw of time via TM. So you have to get it during this event, during this weekend and honestly it's going to be wild but even more interesting going to be spatial rent spatial rent is going to be um very very cool as well as you can see here as well we're going to see the same animation it's going to be the same cost basically but what you can do basically you can um get more um pokemon nearby you basically for like 10 minutes because you can just see a bigger radius which is kind of interesting we had this effect basically in the game before as a bug but now i guess you can just go ahead and spend some stardust and candies to get this effect for a longer period of time or like in general in the game so you're kind of doubling your um, encounter range which you see as well with a cool animation on the screen which just looks amazing um honestly this is going to be a wild one definitely going to change a lot and yeah we're going to see here them going to be in five star range beginning with the Sinnoh tour I'm definitely going to rate so many of them like if you're on my friend list feel free to send me all of them I'm definitely going to rate everything that I see basically on my friend list um trainer who chose the diamond version going to be able to get raw of time and trainers that get the pearl version going to be able to get spatial rent so I wonder if you get like two accounts basically one is going for the um raw of time thing and one will say a spatial rent if you can just trade it over and then get it as well don't know if that's going to be the case but I guess you can only get one so Whatever is more interesting for you, you should choose. I feel like both are really interesting. I don't know. I think for me, I might... Would, um, maybe I, I, I don't know. Actually, I don't really know. For me, this interesting thing for the Raw of Time effect is going to be the daily adventure instance because it's going to be timely limited. You can only do it for 15 minutes a day usually. And this would be like a huge buff towards this. But also getting more encounters would be really interesting. So let me know in the comment section what do you think about it? Like what one go, are you going to choose? Are you going to choose Palkia? Are you going to choose Dialga? Say it in the comment section with like Team Park here, Team Dialga. Don't do, use a hashtag because YouTube doesn't like hashtags. Um, but yeah, let me know down below 
But um, real quick here as well, you're going to see it here as well, the power of the moves. This was already leaked before. I think I also made a video about them as well then. But um, Raw of Time going to be 150 power and Spatial Rent going to be 95 power for PvP. For Raids, they're going to be most likely the exact same kind of moves. And this is going to be very interesting. Smurkle cannot learn them, which does make sense because if like those moves trigger the animation screen, then you would be able to just have a Smurkle that's going to use Spatial Rent and going to allow you to have like those bonuses, which would be kind of funny. But yeah, this is kind of wild. But yeah, that's going to be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to let me know in the comment section which team you're going to choose. And honestly, finally, some more exciting news for Pokemon Go. Let me see actually real quick if they fixed the video or not. Doubt that they did, but oh, they actually did. Let's take a look at this one then real quick. Uh, just like a 15 second trailer for it, which is not really that entertaining, I guess. But you're going to see them in action as well. Don't know. Like, I don't really like the designs too much, but it is going to be fine. They're looking really cool there. And yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to leave a like and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.